I'm Brian Van. I'm Max Van. And today we're going to install the M4 slip on on our 2018 Kawasaki Ninja 400 STG project bike. Yes. Yes. Okay, in this video, we are replacing that hideous stock canister with this gorgeous M4 carbon shorty, carbon end cap, stainless steel short mid pipe. This is a very basic install I feel most riders could manage on their own. This retains the use of the stock passenger pegs. You can see it comes with just a little relocator bracket there to get everything all lined up. We'll tell you about the weight reduction through this video. We'll show you the install step by step, and you've already heard how great it sounds. What do you think, man? Is it approved or? Of course. That is the seal yes. of approval. M4, this is a company we really have a lot of faith in. We sell a lot of their products. We use a lot of their products. Why? Because they provide great value and they work. Stuff looks great. Built here in Texas by a group of great people. Excellent value. For the Ninja 400, they have the slip-on that you see here. It's going to reuse your stock header. All you're working on is just this area back here. Very basic, a couple of hand tools to get that done. If you're looking for a little more power, a little more weight reduction, they also offer the full exhaust system that will replace from here all the way to the cylinder head. So you have full system. So there are options available within M4. Want more information? You want to see what it takes to get this done? Watch the rest of the video. Before we begin the exhaust install, let's start with our stock exhaust node. The 400's warmed up and ready to go. There it is at idle. So as you would expect, that is pretty tame. Okay, body work is off. We've already shown you how to do that. Here is that M4 slip-on carbon can. Comes with the quiet insert already installed. We recommend that you leave it in there. It typically makes more power with the insert in. Okay, if you're not going to put on a full system and get it fuel mapped, right, even with a full system from M4, best practice with the lightweights has been more horsepower with the insert in, but you can remove it if you choose to do so. Full carbon can. There's your mid pipe, barrel clamp. Got the rest of the hardware to install it over here. Comes complete with instructions, which of course, well, we're not gonna use those. Diving right in. I've shown you all the tools it's gonna take to do the removal of the bodywork. Additional tools that you will need for the exhaust. Side cutters, I'll use those to put the springs on. You're gonna need a 12 mil wrench and socket. You're gonna need a six T-handle, 10 millimeter socket, and a number two Phillips. Okay, first thing we need to do is remove this trim panel here. Got a four mil down there. And then we have a standard hose clamp. From there, you slide this forward, okay? You can see that that tongue right there slides into the heat shield. That clamp holds this on by capturing this and snugging the clamp up. Super simple stuff. Okay, now the mounting bolt. Always keep all your stock hardware if you don't reuse it during the install. It's always handy to have that stuff down the road. I like to keep all of the hardware removed from the bikes and suggest you do the same thing. Pull that out. Got a 12 mil socket now on the T-handle. Go ahead and loosen up that stock clamp.
and then go ahead and remove the stock muffler. Okay, stock, 9.05 pounds. It's pretty damn heavy. M4, carbon slip-on, 3.4 pounds. So we have a very significant weight savings here. About six and a half pounds just with doing this mod. Okay, now we're ready to begin the install. This is really basic, minor hand tools. I think most riders will be able to handle this, no worries. M4 includes a little bit of anti-seize, high temp stuff. We wanna rub this, just a thin film, on the inside of each slip joint. This is just gonna be done so that if down the road you need to pull this apart to service it, it just kinda helps to prevent any of that like micro corrosion that would prevent you from doing that. So just a thin film, you don't wanna put a ton in there. I like to use a rag when I do it so you're not touching it. Get that on there. Okay, mid pipe. Let's slide that over. Don't tighten anything up right now, just slide it over. So the loops for the springs are up and down. Let's go ahead and get your canister, slide it over. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. Now you have this bracket that relocates the canister strap. Your strap is going to rest on the outside portion of this. Needed to do this to get a good fit. Of course, M4 has supplied all the necessary hardware to install this. Finger tight. Carbon canister strap, that thing's gorgeous as well. Move that into position. Now you're gonna use the long bolt, six mil, with the dress washer. This looks real nice, finishes it off well. Slide that through. And especially the first time you do this, right? It, you have to put a little pressure on it. Notice how I rotated the canister and the strap. If you feel the strap fighting when you, you, when you go to push the ears together, try and rotate the can in there just a little bit, okay? Because it should be relatively easy. Okay, now let's make sure that the pipe is up against that stock header. Let's double check our alignment. That stuff all looks really good. We're in a spot where we can go ahead and tighten up the clamp on the mid pipe. That's gonna be a five mil T-handle. These are good quality barrel clamps. You do not need to put a tremendous amount of torque on this, okay? All you'll do is deform the pipe if you really get after it. There's no reason to do that. So I'll just kinda put a little pressure. And right there, about there should be pretty good. And you'll feel as you tighten, it'll get harder and harder for it to spin on that stock header. Now we're gonna get our springs. There's different ways to install this. You can use spring installation tools if you have one, or side cutters. Everybody has side cutters. This is what I typically We'll use, these are the supplied springs. You don't want to squeeze so hard that you can cut through it. Just enough to hold on to it will be sufficient. Kind of rotate it around too so the little M4 logos are centered properly. Like so. And now you can come back here and tighten up the hardware in the back. And you want to leave it in the position where it wants to ride. Okay, got everything bolted up. You know, one minor change I did make 
I actually loosened the barrel clamp and I moved it all the way to the leading edge of the mid-pipe where the slots were cut in it and then tightened it down. I was able to get it to snug up real nice so that it did not move at all on the stock header. So one minor change. It's very important that you clean the pipe off before you start it. Okay, your fingerprints, the oils from your hands are on the pipe. And when you start it, what will happen is they will burn in there and discolor it. Of course, you do not want to see that. You can see I'm using WD-40. Works real nice on the stainless steel. You got to watch it on some of the maybe black ceramic stuff. You want to do it in an inconspicuous area if you're going to wipe that stuff down. That varies by manufacturer too and type, but as far as stainless or titanium goes, and even the carbon, you can just go ahead and wipe that down freely. You'll have no issues. Once you've wiped it down, get a dry rag, and we'll just come back and dry it off completely before we start the bike. This has always worked real well to clean off the handprints before you start it. 